My name is Chris, and I'm here to show you how to stay connected. Today, we're going to install the Elastix 2.5 PBX with incredible PBX built into it on a system. First, we're going to start over system with the CD already in. When prompted, we are going to go to the graphical mode by pressing enter. We're going to choose English for our keyboard, US. Now we wait while it loads up. From here, we are going to remove all partitions and selected drives and create default layout. Make sure to select yes. Here we can take off the IPv6 support unless you specifically need it. We're going to stick with our dynamic IP configurations. We're going to automatically get our IP address via DHCP. Set your clock time. Now, of course, it's important to enter your security. Make sure for this section that you use a secure password. As you can see now the passwords are in, it's starting the process, formatting the hard drive, and it will begin installing the system momentarily. Yeah, you'll see it's going to be installing all the packages onto the system. This will take a few minutes, so we'll just be skipping through this. It's now at 100% and is now in the process of doing a reboot. Now it pops the CD. And now the system comes up for a reboot. You get a lot of green OKs, but if you get the red, odd red fail, that's fine too. That'll be corrected later on. Your MySQL root password has to be password using zero instead of the O. Of course, it'll ask you to verify. Now you have to enter your new login password for the free PBX admin. Again, I can't emphasize enough, make sure to use a secure password. Then you'll ask, be asked again to enter it one more time.
once you hit the login screen, you're going to want to in, enter in as root. This is the part where you install the incredible PBX add-on for Elastics. I'm just going to enter in the information to connect to the incredible PBX. Now you're going to want to enter tar zxvf incredible pbx11 elastics 2.25.tar.gz. You won't be able to see it on the screen here, unfortunately. And then, when that's done, rm f incredible pbx11 elastics 2.5. Gz. Okay, and a screen adjustment so you can now see what I'm typing better. Now we get into the incredible PBX program. Enter. And now it's going to start downloading. You can see it's got a number of programs to install, so we can just skip ahead a little bit. Now we're just coming to the end of all the install packages. So far this process has taken about 20 minutes. Now I'm going to start going through all the libraries, seeing what needs to be updated. So you can see right now we're on number 4 of 249. So we're going to skip ahead a little bit and you can join us as we get closer to the end. And we're back. Hopefully you have a chance to go get a coffee. Now the system has completed its updates and is going to start the reboot process. And we're at the main login screen. Now that we're back at the main login screen, we're going to log in again as a root. Make sure we are in the root directory. And enter the same command we did earlier. Incredible PBX 11 Elastics 
Dot sh. Give your warning and hit enter. Now it's checking for updates once more. In case you're wondering, I can't read that either. There's going to be a lot of things that still need to be installed, so again, we're going to pause and skip forward a little bit. You can join us when we're at the next starting point. So we've completed everything, and now we are just rebooting the system. And once it has completed its reboot sequence, then Elastix 2.5 with incredible PBX built into it should be set up and ready to go. And here we are. We are logged at the login and we are ready to go with the PBX. Now the system's up and running. I'm going to log in one more time. So we log in as root. We get these messages and warnings. And every time you log in, it will check for updates to the system. It is recommended that once a week you should be logging into your system through SSH or through the server itself just for, to allow to do this. Just to show you we're up and running, we are going to log in with a separate computer now through the web interface. You might get this error message. That is okay. Just confirm your security exemption. And there you go. Elastix is running on the server. We're going to log in. And there we go. Elastix is running, you can see the CPU, RAM, swap disk, and in here is where we do all the configurations, which will come in our next videos. So I hope you enjoyed our setup of Elastix 2.5 with Incredible PBX 11. Thanks for watching.